What's up? I don't know if you can see my face. You can barely see it. It's a very old, ugly face anyway. Well, anyway, uh, I'm bike touring. And I've never done this before. Uh, so far, so good. Started out about two hours ago. I've done about uh, 30 kilometers, 25. And uh, I was really scared. I was really, really afraid at the beginning. It's something new, it's something that I've never done. It's my bike. I don't know if you can see it. That's that, and this is what I'm carrying. Uh, I'll show it to you later, but I'm going on a 300 kilometer uh, journey, I guess, because this is very new for me and it's kind of like an adventure. Um, hopefully, if I do those 300 kilometers, I'll have the courage to go to the ocean, which is another 300 kilometers. And, uh, See how everything goes. Oh, I just wanted to show you where I'm at right now. Uh, and I want to dedicate this trip, if everything goes well and everything's good, I want to dedicate this trip to a student of mine. It's one of my students that I've, I've taught. I've been his teacher for about four years now. I think this, this upcoming school year is going to be the fourth year and his name is Mauro, Mauro Herrera. He's an excellent kid, um, lazy, I mean I was lazy, I think I was worse than him when I was in uh, middle school, but I want to dedicate this to you man and I hope uh, this encourages you to be or do whatever you want to do in the future. If I can do this, you can do whatever you want, literally man. You have no idea how scared I am of doing this, or I was. And now I feel I feel confident that once you start doing it, everything is just magic after that. All right, Mauro. See you, man. Cheers. So I found this uh, nice place. It's close to Los uh, Calientes. There's my bike. I don't have a stand. A lot of these places next to the road, but I, I've always seen them empty. I never seen them full, uh, with water. Nice days. Not sunny. Not cold. Not hot. Okay. Just gonna give you an update on what my trip is like. For some goddamn fucking reason, Google decided to send me through another way. Oh shit. This kind of way. This fucking kind of road. Fucking Google. You suck. through this kind of fucking shit. See that? See that? That is a fucking... Ah! Fuck! Get you up, see what the fuck.
Oh, exciting! Fuck! Oh, I'm all wet. Fuck it. Ah, fuck this. Now I'm stuck and wet. Oh, no. oh, oh, it's falling. Nice. Thank you, Google. Thank you. What do you mean, thank you? Fuck you. Thank you very much. I'm going to bump your socks, your shoes. Taking, it's gonna take a long time to, to get where I want to go. It's tiring. It's really exhausting. But we're doing all right. Just food wise. I need more food. I'm really hungry. This bike. about 7 30 p.m. It's the first day. Um, oh, look at these flowers. And I decided to park here. To park like in an apartment and stay here. And as you can see there's a lot of Cars coming. I'm going. Because I'm on next to a road. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. So far, it's been a bad idea. I thought I was all chilling stuff, you know? I thought that uh, I was like hidden. Uh, there's a little entrance. And you can see it's like over there. And I was gonna stay there first, but then I saw this. And that can sort of and it's all around there's some over there too over here. and you know I thought it was all hidden and then suddenly out of nowhere I see this guy walking like like right there and he has no shirt on I think he's doing like exercise so I think this is a very uh transited area which I don't know how I feel about that you know like if I were if I were to rob somebody would I would I want to be in a tran would I want to rob somebody in a public or a transit area? Transit, like, where people walk by or where people don't walk by? So I'm guessing that I'm learning from this experience so far. No, I don't think, uh, I don't think I really know. I don't know uh, how this is gonna turn out, but if I still have my cell phone and my stuff, I'll let you know. If not, then this video was never made. I got bad news and bad news. I got my tent going, and um, I didn't think it was gonna rain this much, so I 
brought this tent, which I knew wasn't waterproof. And guess what? It isn't. So everything is getting wet. Uh, I had this water jacket thing and I put all my stuff in there, but oh my God, you can see it, how bad it is. Um, at least from the size, from the sides, it's getting really bad, but if it continues like this, it'll eventually get all wet from the inside. It's not that bad right now. Um, I'm not like soaked, but yeah. So much for camping. Oh, it's exciting. The cycling part is cool, you know. Um, I did um, about what? 100 kilo, 100 kilometers, 110, and it was all right, you know. I stopped a little bit early. I think I should have, should have kept going. You know, one of one of the things that I've noticed is that uh, you want to stop, and that's what you shouldn't do. At least not if it's completely necessary. Because I stopped right before when, uh, like three hours before sunset. So I still had time, you know, to go. But I was going up hills and. Uh, Anyway, uh, it's 12 and it's raining like crazy and I hope none of my stuff gets really, really wet. I'll let you know what happens tomorrow if I sleep. If not, I'll talk to you later. Peace. Hey, good morning. I made it through the night. It wasn't that bad. I uh, just wanted to show you my tent setup. It's not very well. You can't see it. I'll show you this guy. Look at that guy. This is a lifesaver and space saver, which is most importantly. So beautiful. First, I thought it sucked because I needed some wood to put inside. Then I about thought about those things for like a dollar, and it became like the best thing ever. And they'll heat up everything. They'll heat up your water. They'll. I made some oatmeal right now. Just waiting for me right here. Oh, look at that smoke. Look at that. So. And this is how I set up my tent. Camp. See it. It's like 6.30 in the morning. Here's my bike.
Fucking houses, right? There's a big house right there, a yellow house right there. Nice. Right there. You didn't hear me say right there. That was cool. Scary as fuck. That what makes it cool. con los brazos abiertos, calvillo, croissant.
Escalvillo Aguascalientes Gracias Stop and say that I'm too shy. I don't know why. Se la camisa. Es que no le gustó a Brian. Está chida. Brian, un saludo. Algo. Cámara, chido. Ah, pues muchas gracias, Brian. If I would have gone up one more hill, I probably would have been a call or some shit like that. Because I'm so fucking tired. I've been going up hills for like.
Go because I can't drive like that. Another night. I don't know if you can hear that. I don't know if you can see that. But my tent is leaking, and I am preparing for it to be leak leaking uh, from everywhere. I'm not having fun. Don't like this. I don't know if uh, these moments are worth it. I try to. See the best, but it's really hard sometimes. You know, and, uh, really difficult. We'll see how this ends. Good night, man. Alright, so I was camping. really dangerous by the way because I don't know if they're like nice dogs or bad dogs but so far they're eating and I've been giving them uh, my uh, what are they called uh, wheat oatmeal sorry and they really like it I think he's the leader because he's like eating everybody's food in look at that yeah Oh, what else is there, bitch? There's one that is really aggressive. I think it's the one in the back. Like the one in the back, he's uh, the the one on the left is a girl, but the one on the back, he's just scary. Look, these guys are like babies. I came out. I came out. Ven. Este ya trabajó mucho. Ven, divirto. Qué bonita. Qué bonita. Hola. 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 He has weird eyes. Hola. So far, so good. Very happy. Except this guy. This guy's like not very happy. Or so. I gave him some pasta sauce. He really liked it.
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dots. Last night, last night probably was so far. It has been the worst night of my entire camp camping experience, and it's it's mainly my fault. Like all the things that that have been going wrong so far in this trip are my fault, and most of them have to do with lack lack of knowledge. So I decided to stay in this field, the main road or the road that I'm. I'm using that main road, which is a, a two-way road, but it's a one lane, so it's very difficult to drive. Anyway, so the day started off okay, and just about 11 or 12 after I was riding, I saw a bunch of hills, and I wasn't expecting that many hills, so last night yesterday was very tiring so I decided to stay here and because I didn't want people to see me which is I don't know why which is really dumb I decided to go all the way in the back over there specifically I'm not going there right there well it's tall grasses well there's a reason why that's taller than usual on the part of the field and it's because all the water drains over there there's a little current that was here last night and it went all the way over here because behind that tree you see right there there's a there's a kind of like a lake or or just yeah sort of a small i don't know how would you call it a small water that is trapped there so i didn't know that i camped there and well here's how how, how i went went there camped really tired really exhausted thinking about uh, thinking about um, the day and what I still had to go through this should have this trip should have taken maybe two days uh, and one night now it's been two nights and so far this this morning which I think is gonna take like three or four hours but so I was thinking about that and I was really upset. Me, very unintellig unintelligibly, mm, very stupid. It's very stupid. Don't do this. Never, ever, ever heat up anything inside a tent. Uh, I have a little stove. It's a metallic stove. It's it's a really nice thing. Um, and I have some uh, alcohol. Uh, those alcohol things that you use you know to heat up things so i was in it was inside the tent so i was eating popcorn and i decided to i decided to uh to eat it inside and when i wanted to turn off the The stove, you know, you just put the lid on and it goes off. I didn't put the lid on correctly. So it kind of like exploded a little bit and I got scared and I tried to move it. And it spilled all over the tent, like inside the tent. And as you know, it gets, it's alcohol, it's liquid. So there was, for a two seconds, there was an incredible fire going inside my tent. And then I managed to take it out of the tent and I grabbed the stove and just threw it outside. My fingers weren't burnt, but... It was really hot. Um, so I was trying to put out the fire and unfortunately my tent got burned from the bottom. Which I didn't know, which I didn't realize until the water started to flow in, you know. 
So when the water started going down, down there, um, I was being drowned, you know, I was drowning. And that was like 15 minutes after that happened. I was flooded. There was water going inside the tent, like ridiculous. Like you can grab, like you can scoop it out. That's how much. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna move. So at one in the morning, while raining, I took all my shit from over there. I managed to put it on the bike, to pack up, put it on a bike. I brought the tent just like how it is, and brought it over here. And um, I got here, so I'm setting up, and I realized that my tires are full of mud. Like, incredible amounts of mud. So I did that, and I washed it with a little river thing, not, not the little creek, no. Well, I guess that's what it's called, the little creek that was going on through here yesterday. And they're still not clean. As you can see, there's still a lot of mud in them. But I managed to scrape off most of the mud from the bike. I went to sleep at 3 in the morning. Woke up at 6. And woke up at 6.30. And right at 7, I hear dogs barking. I don't know if this is private property or not. I mean, I don't think they're going to mind if I stay here. But I thought that there was like some somebody's dog or something. And no, there was just a bunch of fucking dogs. There was seven of them. I was inside the tent and they started smelling going around. So I gave him my oatmeal. <laughs> and they were happy. And they just left. Oh, and to like top it off, I had no signal whatsoever. No signal at all. Sucks. And now I have signal. Like this morning I do, but last night I didn't. Maybe because of the rain or the cloud. I don't know. Is it a good or bad experience? I, I, I don't know how to qualify this. As, um, what I've learned so far is that I need to think things through. You know, think it be think before they before I do them that's one I need to get as much as information as I can from this like whatever I'm gonna do like one tip I would totally give you or two tips the first one is if you're doing um, bicycle touring first one is know the terrain where you're going to uh, is it hills or is it uh, plain? Well, just check, check where you're going. Second one is a climber. Like check how how often it rains, or if it doesn't rain, or if it snows, or whatever. And once you have that, now you can check your stuff, man. Because if it's plain, you can take a bunch of stuff. You know, you can even cook your stuff. But if you're going to go up hills like I am doing right now. It sucks because I thought I could take it and I can but it takes me a long ass time it's really slow and once you have the environment or the weather conditions and you know what that you're going to you can set up your gear you can know what to take which is also going to help you with your turning I guess the best thing here is go lightweight go lightweight well, anyway, I'm using this as my diary because it was traumatizing last night. It's crazy. All right, well. <laughs> I'll hit you up later. Peace. Good morning, sunshine. The earth says hello. You smile above us. We smile below. Simpson. This is scary as fuck. Look at that, how beautiful that is. It's a little river. It's me. Oh, the 
pecados. Can actually jump. Oh god, this is scary. Dun, 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 dun. We are here. This is where I need to come. Mexico's road, Zacatecas roads are not Mexico. Semi final destination. Moyagua de Estrada. The name of the place. At least according to the. Church. Uh, our entrance is too far. That was this one. So I have a friend who lives here, and uh, he invited me a long time ago. But it's one of those invites that you know, so you should come to my house once. Never a formal one, so I took it. Fuck it.
He grabado en todas. En donde paso, paso, me doy una vuelta en el jardín. Y ahí grabo. Voy a hacer un video en YouTube, lo voy a subir. Dios, ¿Y en dónde más hay? ¿No más aquí? O sea, nomás está aquí así. No más está aquí así. ¿Y en dónde más? Y en todo Latinoamérica. Están cerrados. ¿Y hoy en la noche están cerrados? Sí. Pues bueno, ahorita pues más o menos. Una foto por el face. Dime, una foto por el face. ¿Cómo te pones por el face?
¿Por qué hacen dos veces eso los de los monos? ¿Cómo se llama? Dos. Eh. No, lo, lo de los tepequé, tepequechiles, te guachiles, te Pastuanes. ¿Por qué lo hacen dos veces? Andar así todo el rato.
Habrán como tres. Porque de, cuando termina San José o San Jerónimo, antes de Pozol, hay un paraíso pescado, pues la entrada de paraíso pescado. En cuanto termina eso, ya me empieza a... Y hasta acá me dejó. Hasta un chipilo. Este está bajado. hubiera llegado por aquí y hubiera acampado en nuestro lugar. Aquí. No, no, no alcanzaba. 